Think about all the decisions that you make in a day. From the time you wake up, you are thinking about what to eat, what to wear, where to go, the things that you want to do, people you want to see, and even the way you like to relax. You have probably had to make some important decisions in your life too. What kind of work you do, the things to buy, who your friends are, and even whether you get married and to whom. We make decisions all the time. But have you ever thought about who would make these decisions and other important decisions for you if you were unable to decide or speak for yourself? If a medical condition or injury made it impossible for you to speak for yourself or understand your condition, the treatments available, and the care decisions, who would do these things on your behalf according to what you would want? Whether you're young and healthy or managing a medical condition at any stage of life, another important life decision everyone should make is deciding who will make important medical decisions as a surrogate decision maker someone who understands who you are, your likes and dislikes, your values and preferences, and can help make the medical decisions you would make if you were able. This life planning decision, choosing a decision maker, is a process that begins with thinking about those people in your life who you trust, who know you best, and would be able to make medical decisions that match your wishes, values, and what matters most to you. The best surrogate medical decision maker does not decide what they think is best for you, but they speak and decide as if they were you. A good medical decision maker may be a spouse, partner, child, or sibling. They may even be a very close friend. No matter who they are, they should be someone who you trust to know your medical information, and to ask doctors questions and speak up about your wishes to make sure they are followed. After you decide who will be your decision maker, you should have a conversation with them about the things that matter most to you and the types of medical care you would want, even where you would want to receive care. Things to consider would be your willingness to have a feeding tube or artificial ventilation if necessary and other important procedures and treatments. You also want to make sure that the person you select is comfortable being your decision maker. Choosing a good decision maker and making sure they understand your wishes is very important for you, for them, and for your doctors and other medical providers. When you don't have a decision maker, your family, doctors, and other caregivers will have to make decisions for you based on what they think you would want rather than what you want. This can be very stressful for everyone and may also mean the treatment you receive may not be what you would prefer if you could speak for yourself. Choosing a medical decision maker now will give everyone, including you, peace of mind knowing your wishes are understood and followed without second guessing. The next step for you in making life planning decisions is to complete an advanced directive. This is a written record of your wishes, who your decision makers are, and other information you want known. By choosing a medical decision maker, discussing your wishes and preferences with them, and completing an advanced directive, you are making one of the most important decisions you can make. And you are giving the gift of peace of mind to those who care about you most.